Hey guys, I'm Kate and welcome back to my channel. So this is my November book haul. It is quite unexpected. I did not plan to buy any of these books, but I saw them on this webpage that is like eBay, but only for Serbia. So I did not pay any shipping for them and they were really cheap. These are all used copies, but they are in perfect condition and uh, the first book that I have to show you is one of the most beautiful books that I own and that is Jane, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So this is uh, Penguin Deluxe Edition. I know there is a lot of uh, Jane Eyre editions but I really wanted uh, this one because it is so stunning and so amazing and the back of the book is so beautiful. There is no illustrations inside of the book, but the covers are enough, and this book has these deckled edges, which I've never seen before, but I quite like it, it's a bit different. And this book is used, and it's in a perfect condition, the spine is not broken, the pages are not folded, there is no highlights, highlights inside, everything is just perfect and it was only 5 euros. I looked for uh, for it uh, on Amazon and all these other pages to buy it, but it is quite expensive, so I could not uh, pass this up because it was cheap. And the uh, next couple of books that I have to show you are from the same series, and that series is uh, the Sword of Truth series by, by Terry Goodkind, by Terry Goodkind. So here I have, uh, let me show you them in order. So this one is fourth book in the series, The Soul of Fire. The fifth one is, no, this is the fifth one. This is the fifth one, this is the fourth one. So Temple of the Winds is the fourth one. The sixth one is uh, Fate of the Fallen. Fate of the Fallen and the seventh one is Pillars of Creation. So these books are quite chunky and heavy and difficult to hold. So these are all, as I said, from the Sword of Truth uh, series. I've read the first two, three, first three books and I quite liked them. I liked, liked them enough so uh, that I want to continue this series and this is high fantasy series and it is about this uh, world uh, that is divided into the new world and old world. The first book is set in the old, uh, in the new world, I'm sorry, in the new world and it follows Richard Kalen and Zedicus Zul Zorander who is a wizard and they try to defeat all these different enemies that try to control this world and all these books, books can be uh, read as standalones or so I read on Wikipedia. So, but I decided to uh, continue with the series bec because all of these books continue on one another. So uh, the next one continues where the previous one left off. So uh, Richard is the seeker of the of truth. He is destined to save this world, and Kalen is a confessor. Confessors have these special magical powers, and they can conf confess people. They find uh, they uh, know what these people uh, have done in life, uh, and these people that they confess become. Uh, very very devoted and loyal to the to confessor and uh, they uh, somehow lose uh, their mind and they all all they want to do is uh, what confessor says uh, so Richard and Kaylan of course uh, fall in love and their love is forbidden they can can't be together but they uh, need to find a way to do it it is a really fun series to uh, read. I quite enjoy uh, reading it, so I picked all these sequels. Picked up all these sequels, uh, they are starting to uh, fall because they are really heavy and all of these books were uh, 10 euros uh, and or all of them are used but everything is in perfect condition which I am happy. 
with and the last book is also from the same series and that is The Death of Bones by Terry Goodkind. This is the prequel uh, the prequel of this series and it is really tiny. I can read it right away because it's the prequel and there is uh, a few illustrations here I did not know that I was quite surprised when I saw them they are quite they are really pale but they are they are pretty so actually all of these five books uh, five books I got for 10 euros and I think that is an awesome deal and no shipping I really want to order some books from I don't know Amazon or or all those other book pages but the shipping is quite expensive. So the last thing that I have to show you is a graphic novel and uh, the only thing that I uh, planned to buy because the, uh, the artist that illustrated this uh, graphic novel came to Belgrade and there was a, a couple of panels and there was a signing so I had to buy this one so he could sign it and that is Black Orchid by Dave McKean and Neil Gaiman so Dave McKean I'm sorry uh, Dave McKean is the uh, artist that did illustrations for this and he signed it for me let me show you he signed it. This is this is not the only uh, Dave McKean graphic novel that I have. I have three of them and he signed all three of them and he drew a little something on them also. I hope you saw that. Uh, he is such a wonderful man and wonderful man and he is really patient. He uh, drew something for everyone who was on that on in that line and I don't know for how long he sat there and <laughs> drew things, but he is so awesome. And this book, I'm not sure what this graphic novel is about. I know that it is about a woman who is a plant. Uh, I love Dave McKean and I love Neil Gaiman, so I'm sure I'm going to like uh, this one. I read before, I read a graphic novel that is... Uh, also by Neil Gaiman and Dave, Dave McKean and that is Signal to Noise which is really amazing. So that's it for my November book haul. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you read any of these books uh, let me know in the comments so we can talk about them. Have you read the Sword of Truth series? What did you think? Will you uh, finish the series? Because there is 17 books in this series. I think this this is the longest series that I'm currently reading. I'm I'm not re reading it currently, but you know what I mean. Uh, 17 books, that's quite a lot of time, money and everything. So I want to hear uh, your opinions on that. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.